Hi, this is Paul. Welcome to Escape's Daily Living Podcast. There are just times in our lives where we ask ourselves on where we are going. There are times in our lives when we feel lost. We don't know what to do. We don't have any plans. We don't have any mission or goals to reach. There are times in our lives where we are just living, breathing, or doing routine things, be it a regular day job or taking care of something or someone. Where we are just here, existing. Although there is nothing wrong with just existing in the world, as long as you are happy and contented with it, you are fine. There was one time when my boss asked me on what my plans were for the future. And I just told my boss that I don't have any plans. That I am contented with what I am doing. Which was just working and earning and spending the money I earned. I didn't feel the need to target something or reach some goals or anything. I was happy with the way things were. However, as time passes, a few years later, I changed. People feel this feeling where they need to go somewhere or do something, but sometimes people just don't know where or what it is that we need to do. I felt that feeling too. Before you were born, you are given a mission or missions whether it be big or small it is a task that you need to do while you still live on this earth be it raising a family helping someone creating something or improving and reaching your full potential no matter what it is you accepted that mission or task before you were born I don't believe that a human being on this earth has no purpose. Everyone has a purpose. Probably because of the limitation of the human brain during infancy, we forgot what those tasks or missions were. Or was it deliberately or purposely erased or forgotten? It may be possible that a person can remember them while at a young age, but most usually because of how busy daily living is on this world, those tasks or missions are overridden or forgotten. We get distracted by the world, working, surviving, and trying to stay happy. Not all people have those grand missions or tasks assigned to them. If ever your tasks or missions are simple, then you may just don't have to worry so much about accomplishing those tasks assigned to you before you die, for you are probably doing it now, or you are already on your way to doing it all. All you have to do is to keep doing what you are doing. But for some, knowing what you need to do, where you need to go, can be difficult to figure out. A few years has passed since I said those words where I don't have any plans, I started to feel this feeling that I needed to do something for the mission or task that I needed to do while I am still living on this world. I have acquired several skills or talents and I am grateful for all of them. Realizing the mission takes time. The mission will be presented to you when you are ready. Like in an epic journey, you need to go through things, lessons, experiences, and pains before you acquire the necessary wisdom, skills, or motivation to do something you are born to do. These things, realizations, can come in an unexpected time, caused by time, events, or experiences. There are phases in your life where you seem to be just wandering around with no direction. This is not necessarily a bad thing, 
people need to go through phases and things. Trust in the process. Trust in the story you written for yourself. Trust in the story written by God. You are in control of what things you want to do, when to do it, and how to do it. However, there are things that are out of your control. Things like how people react, how people will do things, and events that happens every now and then. There are positive and negative reactions, positive and negative events. While all these are mixed up, things will conspire to guide you on what you need to do. The question is, will you be able to hear or get the hint of what the universe or God tells you on what you need to do? As I have lived this life, I realize that life throws things at you to somehow steer you to the road where you need to go. Where it steers you on what you need to feel. It steers you on what you need to realize. It steers you to people, to places, to events, where it will contribute to how you decide things in your life. Things like these usually don't happen in a short span of time. Some things, if not most of these, happen for long periods of time, even years. Things like being in a job for several years where during that time or after, you realize something, be it a positive or negative experience. Things like these shape how your story is written, or even how your story is unfolding before you. Events come up where it signals you to move on, and there are events that come up that signals you to stop and take a break. Some events give you hints to take things slow or take things in cruise control. While we do have the power to ignore these things, things and events like these happens to try and guide you on what you need to do or where you need to go. The issue usually is can you trust these events? Can you recognize that these events are trying to lead and guide you to a better and positive experience? Whether you believe in a higher power or not, there are things and events that most people will consider as amazing or miraculous. I am a believer in a higher power. I believe that there is a God who has absolute control of the things that happens. The question is, have we understood how God operates? How this higher power calculates right and wrong? How it sees a positive and negative experience? Why do I refer God as it? It because even in the Bible it is mentioned that even calling God the word God diminishes the true nature of what God really is. The Divine Creator, the one who created all things, sees all, hears all, and feels all. It experiences all the things you are also going through. It knows everything, for the Divine Creator is in everything, in every atom, in things that gives it shape, in every organ in your body that gives it life. It is beyond time. It knows the past present, and future all at once. While it can be looked at as a tiny, tiny thing, the Divine Creator does have a grand plan for all things. All its plans may not be known, but I do know that it wants all things to grow and eventually return back to its great light. One of the questions of people is that why do God allow bad things to happen to good people? The answer to this question differs from person to person. It could be that the person needed to experience that negative experience in order for him or her is to learn something from it. Or it could be that he or she is resolving the karma 
he or she once did. Or it could be just because of the will of another being having free will to inflict a negative action on that person or to him or herself, which we call mistakes. Whatever that bad thing may be, rest assured that all events are recorded and taken into account. The solution or end to the problem or negative event may not be immediate for things to conspire sometimes takes time. In a world where beings have their own free will, orchestrating things is complicated. It is not hard for God to know what to do, but it takes time for God's plan to come to fruition. We all know that in this world there are good and bad people. Whether this is caused by wrong upbringing or it's an inherent trait, the good and bad does have their own purpose. It is said that for one to know what is good, he must know what is bad. In life, however, good can become bad and bad can become good. I may want all things to be good, all people to be good, all events to be good, but such an ideal place can't exist in this world, for this world is a school for everyone to learn the good and the bad. While our life may be guided, we do have the choice on which side we want to be on. To be on the good or the bad side. I do not speak for those who guides people to be on the bad side, but I do hope you choose to be on the good side. Whether or not you know what your purpose or mission is while you are still living in this world, I hope and pray that you recognize the things, events, and people that try to steer and guide you to fulfill your purpose or mission. Whether they be your companion, partner, or friend, believe that not all things that happen in your life is by chance, for your story has already been written and finished. All you have to do is walk and experience it. Things, events, and people will repeatedly come in your life when life tries to guide you on what you need to do. Keep watch and be observant on what is happening in your life so you can recognize that your life is guided. You may have free will, but you are never alone while walking and living this life. May you stay positive in a world of negative. This is the end of part 10 of my Staying Positive in a World of Negative series. If you like this episode, consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. If you feel that there is a person that needs to hear this, please do share. I would really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this podcast. Feel free to comment or message me through my Instagram at escape underscore TV or through my email tv.escape at gmail.com. If you wish to hear more of my daily living podcasts, consider hitting that subscribe or follow button. You can also hear this podcast through Spotify, Anchor, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and other podcast networks. This is Paul of Escape's Daily Living Podcast. Thank you for listening and have a great positive day ahead.